Look, I think we all know that communication is, well, incredibly important. But recently I've gotten word through the internet and some friends who've gone through this process that probably, I would assume, the leading in-home, at-home fitness company, Peloton, is going through quite the struggle. Now, we all know that 2020 um, really hurt the manufacturing and logistics companies uh, in, in many cases because supply and demand was absolutely bonkers. It was very difficult for companies to fulfill those orders. And you've probably seen a Peloton ad once or twice every hour if you watch the normal you know, television or it's probably just ads everywhere, you know, nothing like a uh, Peloton and riding your bicycle uh, at your at your home in your garage. Uh, they seem to to be a fan favorite for, 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 for many. But for many who have purchased this bike, this in home bicycle, uh, the fulfillment has been, well, let's just say not to the most desirable opportunities, the most desirable, the most, it basically has just been screwing up a lot of people where uh, Peloton will say, hey, you're going to get your your indoor Peloton, what do they call those, just bikes, but you're going to get your Peloton in a couple of weeks, then you get a, a date of the exact thing, and next thing you know, they change that date, and then they change that date again, where someone who thought they were getting a Peloton for the winter actually might not even get it for the spring. Now, I understand that there's a lot of uh, logistics nightmares going on right now, and, and I get that, you know. Uh, I also have friends who are trying to get normal bikes, and those things are being, th these individuals are being told, you might not be able to get a bike until 2022. And that was in 2020, so that's absolutely bonkers. But I think the challenge with this is when you tell someone, hey, you're going to get this thing, and then a couple weeks later you say, never mind, and then a couple weeks later you go, never mind again, yet you see the ad on TV, and then you just kept getting all this kind of fake news, false uh, information, and it's just, it, it really hurts the brand. But how much does it actually hurt the brand? Is this something that Peloton can recover from? Obviously, there was the controversy last year where some people thought that, that the person, the the wife who received a Peloton, um, was there was some sort of controversy there. You know, they seem to have recovered from that. But is is this something that's even worse? I would probably say this is actually worse because well, people aren't actually being able to get the thing that they purchased and then they keep getting a new timeline over and over again and they get frustrated where all they want to do is get this thing that they paid thousands of dollars for and, and, and 60 bucks a month for. They just want to get it, you know? And so how can a company communicate in a more robust, positive, and accurate kind of way? And I think this is a challenge for many through the pandemic, many through just having logistics issues. And I think the key here is to be as honest and as transparent as possible, where it sounds like they know that they are not going to fulfill these orders. Look, I'm, this is all hearsay. I, I didn't buy a Peloton. I have a real bike. Um, but it sounds like a lot of these um, orders are not being fulfilled. Some are. I know plenty of people have gotten them, but, but many are not being fulfilled and they are being provided misleading information. So if you are in the business of fulfilling orders, which if you're in business, that would be basically everyone. The key in this is to be as transparent and as honest as possible. So if you know that that thing is not going to be delivered, don't spend months saying, hey, we're going to give it to you, we're going to give it to you, we're going to give it to you, and then at the end of the day, well, you don't, because that brand that you've spent so much time, money, resources, and love towards growing is going to start having negative thoughts towards it more than positive, positive. and a Peloton is a, is a, is a company that I think is important to the world, I think fitness is important for people, but people also want to get their bikes and they want to know when they're actually getting that thing so what would you do to make peloton better what would i do i would just communicate a heck of a lot better and stop over promising and under delivering do the absolute opposite of that which would be under promise over deliver so if you think it's going to get there in two weeks 
Tell them three weeks. So then they're at least ready for that thing to happen in three weeks. But if you know that that, that window is not actually two weeks, it's two months, tell them two months so you don't screw up the brand that you spent so much time on, you know? Are you stuck at your home office, socially distanced coffee shop, or your fancy all bricked out corner office wondering why no one can see your business and sales are all over the place? Sounds like you need a pro. That's why I developed the Anomaly Academy. Insert clever copy here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put something else there. Oops. You can grab access to the Anomaly Academy now at ZachMillerSays.com slash Anomaly Academy.